I guess we're heading to the House of Seven Gables. Do you know where it is? Yeah, approximately that way, a uh, quarter mile. Which, which, which way? Ding! <laughs> yeah, it's been that day all day. And I had to drive these jokers. Oh, I'm actually very glad that he did that because now he can no longer complain about us making <laughs> Which way, Lane? Which way? Across the street to the Witch Boo Cafe. Coming. We can't have any record. We can't go in with any kind of recording devices or not. But as a tourist, if you're going to come here, you have got to check out this house. It's got historic value. They tell you all about it. They tell you the whole history, and it's a cool, like back porch outlook to the uh, to the Atlantic Ocean. Come on. And if you can count them, there are indeed five, six, seven gables. What exactly is a gable? Why don't you tell people what a gable is? A gable is? is an outlet on the roof. It's a corner point on a house and. This particular house was originally had five, but then he added the others. And more. It's also the subject matter of a very famous book by uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, who actually lived in the house for about a year and a half before he wrote that book. Which book was that? Which book? Which book? If this is a drinking game for you, you're obviously either drunk or about to have alcohol poisoning. And you might even think it's funny by now. <laughs> it's a, you gotta be here for this. Down this street, there's a cobblestone street, one of the original streets. I think you can get like the famous shot of the house. And uh, I've been inside here, it's wicked cool. There's actually a secret hidden passage you can cut through part of the walls. But the secret passage is about this wide, so you gotta kinda squeeze through. And then there's like cool huge fireplaces and stuff. You gotta check it out. It's a little bit out of the way, but you know. Mm hmm It's easy to find which way you're going. One, two, three, four, five, and six and seven. They're obviously on the other side. And here's the Atlantic Ocean. next door is the birthplace of Nathaniel Hawthorne. However, that is not the original location. Yeah. And they were able to uh, relocate it at piece by piece. Yeah, but did they, ship, did they ship it priority or next day? Um, we gotta buy a ticket for that information. I'm sorry. No, we're gonna find out online. We'll let you know. And then we'll sound smart. We are at a quaint little restaurant slash pub called a in, a pig's in a Pig's Eye. Eye. They have a very particular theme around here. We are currently surrounded by approximately 56 pigs of varying sizes, shapes, and make. Which, which we pig? We have flying pigs. Which pigs? Yeah. Flying pigs. We have garden pigs, glass pigs, wood pigs. Buddha pigs. That's kind of a little bit much. My first count of 56 pigs was an inaccurate one. I did not see that there were pigs on top of the CD player and on the shelves behind me. We are closer, it's closer to say we are surrounded by approximately 200 pigs. This is a great place. I go to, where are we going to next? Which way are we going? Which way? Again. Which way? Okay, this is definitely a free plugging kind of place. This is a monster burger. Oh, look at that burger. And a pig's eye. You gotta come and check it out. It's right down, right just across the way from the House of the Seven Gables. Look at all that meat. Meat. This is a sandwich. That's a sandwich. Where'd your burger go? It's in my belly. <laughs> Man, I'm slow today. Yeah. This is awesome. This is really good. All right, here we are. Just come out of the pig's eye. That is awesome. I am coming back. Definitely be here, be square. It's my new favorite historical site. This is the Nathaniel Hawthorne Monument. As Ken pointed out, it's not a very flattering image of him, but and he wasn't a supermodel. Way down. Way down the street bit there, you can see the uh, Salem Witch Museum, that's where we're headed next. It's a definite must, another must, if you're going to come in here for the first time, you want to do the whole touristy thing, you've got to check out Salem Witch Museum, come on. Which museum? Yeah, that museum. There are a lot of museums here, I don't know which one to go to. This is the uh, main park in downtown Salem. 
they decorate it for the holidays, you know, via Halloween, Christmas, and all that. This in the spring is an awesome, awesome thing to check out because I can imagine every single one of these trees in bloom. And if you come in the, in the fall, you can imagine every single one of these trees being a different color. But the real attraction in this area is right across the way. Which museum? Which, which museum? Which museum? Which we are on our way to see. Which museum? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Can you imagine having this surrounding your house? How kick-ass would that be? This is beefy too, like you could, you could hit this with a car and you're not gonna go anywhere. Oh. We need to take this with us. Now once you're done with the Rich Museum, you come back around. This is the old uh, part of the downtown Salem. This is where all the shops and tourist traps are now. And up ahead is a very famous shop. It used to be owned by the Witch of Salem, Lori Cabot. She sold it some time back. But it's still a very interesting spot to go. You're going to find a lot of, a lot of the unusual things that you wouldn't find at any normal store that you normally go to. And it's definitely a cool tourist attraction. I went in there, last time I went in there, I saw that they actually had a book of shadows in there. So you can't find anything from Walmart in there. No. There it is. This is like the place that makes the evening news every Halloween or so. You know, every time they report the downtown Salem on Halloween, they always talk about the crow having this. Is, that is the Crow Haven above this. If you come here, you've got to check it out. What do you think? Awesome place. What? Knockers! Oh my god. Yes. That, that was so bad. Keep it rolling because right next door to this place is another place that I think is fantastic. It is uh, got a special place in my heart. It's actually where I bought my jacket and outfit, entire outfit and top hat for when I got married. And I bought it. I helped them out. And at this place is called the Fool's Mansion. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And uh, Salem's 13 Ghosts. This is another one of the many tourist attractions. We're heading back into uh, downtown Salem District and to see the, the famous controversial statue of Samantha. When you come down here, you can see lots of little trinket shops like, like the broom closet. And um, there was a wonderful shop here, I believe it was called Matilda's. You get a photo of your aura taken. It is awesome. If you're coming to Salem nowadays, there's an excellent, excellent bookstore up ahead. It's a little kind of scary to walk into. If you see, you'll see what I mean when you check it out. Oh, it is. <coughs> Derby Square Bookstore. This is a place we have to check out. Even if you're not really into reading, just go in here, it's just creeping up. Come, come check it out. Yeah. They got tons they have, of books. They have a very interesting uh, organiz organization center. Take a look through the window. <laughs> and um, the guy's really good about knowing where everything is. All books are 50% off, but if you really want the one on the bottom, you probably can bargain down another 25%. But you got to move <laughs> about 35 books on top. <laughs> and, it's, and it's even cooler inside. This is what they're willing to show you. See, this is what you call being pressed. Oh, dude, you're, you're in a burning hell. <laughs> you know. Every which way. Coming up on the main end of the downtown district area where the bricks and cobblestone streets are. And if you see up ahead, in front of the Christmas tree, is the famous, notorious, controversial statue of Samantha from Bewitched. Samantha, ladies and gentlemen, from Bewitched. Christmas is over, they need to get rid of that. Yep. Start working on Halloween again. Whoop. Hey, she's wearing pumps. No. That's a small little sample of what you can get if you come down to be a tourist in uh, Salem, Massachusetts, the Witch City. Witch City? Andy. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. And I'm Ken. And this is Samantha. Hi. Good night.